What's up witches? Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm glad you've decided to stop by and hello to you as well. Today I wanted to speak about a topic that I've been sitting on for about two weeks now. But before we get into it, I just wanted to know that I'm really touched by all the kind comments and support I got on my last video. It was a difficult video for me to make and it just really warms my soul to see that it was received so kindly. I just want to apologize for not uploading when I said I would. Since I started my Tumblr blog, shameless plug, go follow me for Hollow Knight content, and have been so desperately trying to be more active on Twitter, I haven't had all the time or the motivation to start working on another video until today, so just bear with me. I'm going to be quitting my job relatively soon for mental health reasons, so hopefully I'll have more time to focus on video making and such. Aside from now, my commissions are now open. Boom! Here is my sweet succulent commission sheet. If you're interested in ordering one, DM me on Instagram at SyzygySlumberless or on Twitter at WitchySyzygy. They will be linked in the description along with my Tumblr blog as well. Go follow me. I am desperate. With that being said, I wanted to tackle a bigger subject today than I usually would, and that, my familiars, is the underground subliminal community. For those of you who already know about this community, well, I am very sorry about that. I will pray for you. But for those of you who don't know what the UG sub, which is what I'll be calling the underground subliminal community for the rest of this video, actually is, allow me to explain. To understand UG subs, we first need to understand what the subliminal community is. As defined by this website here, subliminal means below the threshold of conscious perception. Put simply, subliminal audio refers to sounds played at a level that you are unable to hear consciously, but that your subconscious mind can perceive. Subliminal audio messages are affirmations that bypass your conscious mind and go straight into your subconscious. These hidden positive affirmations are embedded in the music just below your hearing level. Because your conscious mind is not aware of the subliminal suggestions underlying the music, it can't put up barriers against it. That's why subliminal affirmations avoid any resistance, which would usually hold you back. So essentially subliminals contain messages and sometimes suggestions that go straight into your subconscious mind. You've probably heard the term used before in reference to advertisements, which sometimes contain subliminal messaging to inspire the viewer to buy products or visit locations. In context to the subliminal community on YouTube, it is certainly a similar affair. The main sub-community mostly centers around manifesting positive affirmations, improving your mental health, boosting motivation and self-confidence, weight loss, beauty, and even luck. Overall, the surface-level sub-community is generally a really positive one that promotes self-care, love, and self-improvement. Hell, my girlfriend is a pretty big fan of subliminals and says that they help her a lot. From what I understand, she mostly uses them as a tool to help her perform glamour magic and strengthen energy work. A lot of people believe that subliminals work for a myriad of different reasons. Some believe in the science and research regarding the effectiveness of them, while others, like my girlfriend, believe in their effects for spiritual reasons. Regardless, the belief in subliminals can mostly be summarized to, if you believe in the effects of the sub, then the results will manifest. As for me, I do believe that many of them can and would work, especially those regarding manifesting positive mental health and self-confidence. I could certainly see how subliminals could help with that. Hell, I've seen some tangible results before. However, even if I thought that they didn't work, I'd still not have any real problems with the community at all. It overall appears to be a pretty positive and nice place and there isn't really harmful about the surface level subs. However, as I mentioned before, the underground subliminal community is very different. Rather than manifesting positive things like improved mental health, confidence, or luck, UG subs focus on manifesting negative or frankly disgusting things. In this video, I'm going to take a little bit of a deep dive, if you will, into the monstrous world of UG subs. As we go through the video, the topics in question are going to get progressively more upsetting and triggering, so each time we enter a new section, I'll also put the trigger warnings on each of the transition cards. If you start to feel overwhelmed or extremely upset by some of the things I will be covering, I encourage you to click off the video or take a mental health break if you need it. With that being said, let's get into it. Starting with the more tame category of UG subs, let's first delve into physical ailments. For one reason or another, a lot of people seem to want to be physically sick because there are many subliminals about manifesting physical sickness and illness. Why someone would want to be sick, I will never understand, but okay. Let's first take a look at this one, simply titled Sickness. Reading the benefits listed, we have Get your desired sickness. Have all the symptoms of your desired sickness. Be able to recover from it whenever you want, and mini booster, whatever mini booster means. What really astounds me here is the next section. Tips. Drink water. Don't obsess over your results. Take a break if you get a headache. 
I know I probably shouldn't be laughing, but it's just crazy to me that this person literally made a video to assist the viewer in getting themselves sick, but then the uploader goes on to list self-care suggestions like drink water and take a break if you get a headache. Like, isn't the whole point to be sick? What? <laughs> Scrolling down to the comments, here's a couple that caught my eye from a commenter. They say, I'm guessing this is for physical sickness only. And the uploader replies, yes. Another person says, can I get a chronic illness with this? And the uploader replies with, mm-hmm. It's just so wild to me that people are calmly asking if this video can give them non-physical illnesses, most likely mental health issues, and like, if it can cause chronic illness. What the hell? Now, keep in mind, if this sub actually works, which to frequent UG sub users, it probably would in their opinions, then that means the uploader is assisting in what is essentially self-harm. It doesn't matter if it works or not because the intent of the user is to get the viewer sick. The intent is to hurt. Moving on to another video about sickness, this one is titled, I'm so sick, and the description is a whirlwind, I tell you. Hello. Wow, it's been a while, huh? Sorry about that. DID subs worked, so hey, I'm A. R's not available right now. Well, so they're claiming that they have DID because of the subliminal. Well, that is certainly a thing that I just read. We'll be covering subs like that in just a minute here, but moving on. I made a get sick plus miss school subliminal because I don't want to deal with school at all. Then under benefits, they list things like free from school, schoolwork, homework, Zoom lessons, get only good grades, and parents don't care about what you do when you're sick, plus let you skip school. Now all of this talk regarding not having to go to school, do schoolwork or homework while also having good grades just indicates to me that this person in question here is a child. The fact that staying home from school and not having to do work is listed under benefits also indicates that not only is this individual a kid, but this video is marketed to other kids that also don't know any better. I felt like I needed to point this out specifically because I wanted to demonstrate here that many of the people in this community are kids. It's pretty obvious with how many of the uploaders and commenters talk that many of the people in support of UG subs, both consuming them and making them, are kids. Now, kids make stupid decisions and mistakes, and I have never really liked the whole trend of dogging on and bullying small children for no reason, hence why the names in this video will all be censored. However, I think that it's important to call out behavior like this, especially with the consumers of this content being kids. Their minds are malleable, and seeing content like this that promotes negative things, like being sick in this case, can convince them that this sort of mentality is okay. Moving on to the subject of mental illness, there are so many videos here that promote getting worse with your mental health or manifesting entirely new disorders. Here's a couple about getting hospitalized in a mental institution. Here's one intended to induce anxiety, depression, and more. Here's one that I wanted to discuss called DID subliminal and in glitchy text, vision subliminals. Reading the description, it says, affirmations, get DID, desired alters, desired switches, headaches, amnesia, time loss, trances. Drink plenty of water and don't listen more than 10 times as it could destroy your mind. What the f If this person legitimately thinks that listening to this more than 10 times could destroy your mind, posting it publicly would be incredibly dangerous. Again, it doesn't matter if it works or not, it's the intent behind it. Scrolling down to the comments, there are similar ones to before, but this time they're worse. There are many people talking about their results using the sub, and more talking about their supposed alters. And there is even this one person that claims that they had a 12-hour migraine because of it. Great. But I think that this one comment sums up my feelings on this the best. As someone who is traumatized and diagnosed with DID despite never ever wanting something like this, I hope you realize how much things like this hurts us and our community. Though I do not have any experience with DID, nor do I know anyone who suffers from it, I can only imagine what it's like to see others pining for and desiring an illness or disorder that you never wanted and or wished to be rid of. Now, looking through the UG sub playlists, there are a bunch of different videos about Tourette's. I don't want to get too deep into these because I would probably mostly just repeat myself from what I said about the DID subliminal, but one thing I do want to note here is that I've been seeing a lot of people infantilizing Tourette's and people with Tourette's. Essentially, people seem to think that the disorder and the tics one may have are super cute and quirky, completely ignoring how actual people with Tourette's struggle with those tics and how they can be severe and debilitating. Again, I don't have Tourette's and I do not know anyone with Tourette's, so I will leave some links to videos that people with Tourette's have made about explaining their experiences down in the description if you are interested in learning more. However, on the note of things that I actually have experienced, 
autism. There are several subliminals that I have seen that claim to give the viewer autism. Hell, there's a whole playlist of 21 videos here that are for giving the viewer neurodivergence and sometimes specifically autism. I'm not going to get too deep into any of these videos because, again, I would just be repeating myself from before. However, as someone with autism who has been discriminated against because of it, I can definitely attest to the whole why are you wishing for a debilitating disorder that I wish I never had? A disorder that many people infantilize and use as a reason to discriminate against others. Especially because many of the descriptions list one of the benefits as never getting bullied for your disorder. It's like these people want the quote unquote cute and quirky symptoms of the disorders in question, but don't want any of the repercussions or negative side effects that come with suffering from them. It's just a huge slap in the face to us neurodivergent people and those struggling with mental illness. Another thing that these subs seem to like to manifest is unhealthy relationship dynamics. I'm just going to cover a couple of these different kinds of dynamics because they're the ones that I see most often, starting with stalker slash yandere boyfriend subs. There are like so many subs intended to manifest kidnappers, stalkers, and significant others that mistreat the viewers physically or mentally. I even saw one that was Ash Kinoshita themed, which is just absolutely disgusting considering the context around the character of Ash. Not going to get too deep into it here, but it's just overall really insensitive toward Dolly Guts or Tirza, the artist behind Ash. The community seems to have this really gross perception that relationships in which one partner mistreats the other are cute or quirky or romantic or, gods forbid, even sexy. Not only is that perception incredibly damaging to those that believe it, but it can also affect survivors of such things. As someone who has experienced a relationship similar, it's just nuts to me that people would want such a terrible thing to happen to them. Now, I'm not going to get into the yandere subs themselves. Most of the affirmations and benefits that they list are relatively the same, and I don't want to read a whole bunch of them because I feel like that would easily get pretty boring. So instead, I'm going to read some of the concerning comments on three different videos I found related to yandere slash stalker slash kidnapper boyfriends. I am going to be using this subliminal on my boyfriend. The reason is, I have BPD and I feel things 100 times more intense, so I need to feel that same level of love and obsession. Started at April 8th, 2022. Will update every time I see some sort of progress. April 10th, 2022. Has been extra affectionate, extra productive, and always wants to know what I'm doing and where I'm at. He also hasn't been able to keep his hands off me, in a good way. He never wants to leave my side and has been wanting to spend every second with me. This comment stuck out to me because this was one of the only comments that I saw that mentioned influencing an already existing person's free will rather than manifesting a whole new person. Whether or not this commenter is telling the truth, they're essentially just saying that they're trying to influence their significant other's free will, presumably without that person knowing. This mentality is just concerning. I hope this person is just making this and their results up, and I also hope that they are able to seek the help that they need. OMFG, I'm not sure if this is a sign, but earlier me and my family were hanging out and my grandma scolded my dad because our gate was left unlocked the whole night, which is very dangerous. But I have a strong feeling it was my yandere trying to break in. I keep having the feeling of getting watched from the outside and I also keep hearing noises at midnight. I'll keep using the subliminal. Thank you so much. Bruh moment. I am really concerned for this person and I hope that they're making this up. If not, I sincerely hope their parents and grandparents are vigilant enough to report any suspicious activity around their house. Gods forbid someone gets hurt. Now, this next comment is part of a much larger comment. It was like a freaking Bible. There were at least 15 different updates and paragraphs talking about this person's results. I wanted to highlight this specific section here because it's just an example of another person being a lackadaisical about possible home invasion. January 19th, 2022. I've been listening for about two days and one of my friends has been acting strangely. I also keep hearing footsteps in my apartment even when my roommate is gone. When I go to check, nobody's there. It might be my anxiety getting to me since I moved away from my hometown to be closer to my school, but who knows, lol. Call the police if there's someone in your house, my gods. Now, this comment is on a different video. Feeling hyped right now using this with a Bakugo subliminal, wish me luck. Heart 111. This comment just highlights how young the people in this community are. Also, just so you know, the 111, there is an angel number signifying fresh starts, new beginning, and finding love. So these last two comments are on a kidnapper subliminal, just so you know. I'm writing what I want to have happen while listening to this because it helps me focus my visualization and I have a very specific scenario that I want to have happen. Or want to have happened. 
Should I have them let me go to school or no? Cause I kind of want to because people, but it's stressful for me. I would miss my French teacher, my friends, and I was going to do fun stuff next year, so I think I will. But I need to do something so that I either have perfect grades all the time or that so I don't care. Something about this comment is just really chilling to me. You can tell that the person who wrote this is a kid just by the way that they talk and also the way that they calmly ask, should I have my kidnapper let me go to school? I'll miss my teacher and my friends is just so unsettling to me for one reason or another. Next comment. So IDK how to start this, but I've been listening to a lot, and I mean a lot, of Yandere subliminals, and two days ago I had a dream about my Yandere and he looked exactly as I scripted, but the thing is when I think about him I don't get scared or anything, but when I feel his presence I just lose my shit. I get so terrified, even last night I listened to this before I slept. I deadass felt something pushing against me, it gave me a bruise on my neck. If you have any advice, please share it with me because I'm trying to leave this house as soon as possible so he needs to cherry me fast. Sob sob skull emoji. Yick. First of all, again, you can tell that this person is a kid just because of the way that they type, but the way that they described feeling legitimately terrified after watching this sub, whether or not they're actually getting results is very upsetting. <laughs> so after reading these two comments on this particular kidnapping subliminal, I decided to take a look at the description and found the listed benefits. This is unisex. Great, so glad I can manifest any gender slash sex of kidnapper I want, thank you. Really important to me. Benefits. Get cherried by Ur Yandere. Ur Yandere can't wait to cherry you. Ur Yandere is extremely impatient. You already got cherried last night. You will be with Ur Yandere forever. Forced results. Now, just like that last comment, this description uses the term cherried a few times here, and if you're like me two seconds ago, then you probably don't know what the term means. So I googled it, and the only result that I found that makes sense is that being cherried means having your cherry popped. In more colorful language, being deflowered, losing one's innocence, breaking someone in or in more plain, less YouTube-friendly terms, losing one's virginity. So this whole note about being cherried by your yandere, but also the note about there being quote-unquote forced results, just kind of strikes me as a little sussy baka. And if the lines of consent seem a little blurry here for you, then hoo boy, it will get a little bit worse later in the video, let me just warn you there. Now with all the yandere boyfriend crap out of the way, let us discuss the other sort of unhealthy relationship dynamic I often see here in the UG sub community. Manifesting parents that mistreat, neglect, or hurt you. Starting off strong with this video, amazing title there, I saw the thumbnail and felt blood trickle out of my ear. So first of all, we got that super classy power director watermark in the corner, great stuff. But the thing that really sent me was the picture used for the thumbnail. This screenshot is actually from an anime that I recognize called Elf and Lead. Now, don't check out Elf and Lead if you're sensitive to blood or nudity because the show has a lot of that, but this character in particular is named Mayu. The context behind this moment in the show is that Mayu's mom started dating this new man, a man that in YouTube appropriate terms was doing <coughs> inappropriate, nasty things to Mayu. When Mayu approached her mother about the situation for help, her mother shamed her and it led to Mayu running away from home. So yeah, this image being used here is very upsetting, thank you. I'm not going to read the affirmations out loud, but here they are for those of you that are interested in reading them. There are a lot of subliminals like this one out there, so I don't feel the need to cover more, but something that I'd like to mention is that many people in the comments are calling the uploader out for making this sub. From what I saw, most people aren't being rude or cruel, they are just asking the uploader to seek some help if this is happening to them. I couldn't have put it better. I hope that anyone struggling with this sort of situation can get the help and salvation that they need, and I am glad that most of the comments are not sharing the results that they got from this sub. I just feel that it was important to make note of the existence of subs like these because, as evidenced by the 408 likes on this video, some people think that this is okay. This last section is probably the most intense and most upsetting section of them all in my opinion. This is truly where I see the worst of the worst from the UG sub community, and I encourage you to take a break from watching or skip this section entirely if it triggers you. Skip to this point in the video for the full conclusion. With that being said, let's dive in. Now, this here is the sub that actually inspired me to make this video and is one of the most uncomfortable things that I have ever seen. The quote-unquote benefits listed are as follows. There is a Bible written here in the pinned comment, so here's just a simple video of me scrolling down it all. If you want to slow down the video or pause to read, feel free, but it's just so nasty. 
Most of the comments here are sane people asking the uploader why they would upload this, as well as encouraging them to seek help, though there were a couple of really concerning comments. There's this one, which I will not read out loud. One of the most chilling comments I have ever seen on a YouTube video. Great, I love that I read that. Then there is this comment by the uploader. Update, I got groped by these hot people. Holy gods, above and below, I really, really hope that the uploader is just making this up. I am so worried for them. I hope this never happens to them or anyone. This is just so distressing. I cannot believe that people are watching this and hoping that this happens to them. It is the most downright terrifying thing. I really hope that everyone who saw this is all right. Anyway, moving on before I lose my f***ing mind, there is also a slew of videos that similarly promote such relationships, except it gets even worse when you see the sheer amount of subs that encourage underage and adult intimacy. Now, I'm not going to show any of them here or even cover the lolly body subliminals because these are triggering to me personally and I don't want to get too deep into them. Just know that there are not only people teacher crush subs that are questionable to say the least, but there are actually subs to attract adults and p words to kids. Let me calm down before I record my closing statements. <laughs> now, in conclusion, I didn't want to just repeat that EUG subs are bad, because I think you viewers have gathered that they are bad just with the aid of the rest of this video. Instead, I wanted to look at UG subs both from a spiritual angle and a non-spiritual, non-believer sort of angle. As many of you probably know, especially if you're one of my familiars, I am a pagan witch, so my beliefs regarding the effectiveness of subliminals may be different to many of other people's beliefs. In my opinion, I do think that subliminals can be effective and can be used to manifest certain things. I think that many of them can work. I do draw the line at some of them, though. Do I believe that subliminals can manifest serious conditions like BPD, schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, DID, or neurodivergent conditions like autism or ADHD? No, I personally just don't believe that that's the case. In my opinion, anyone that was diagnosed with one of these conditions after seeing a subliminal for that condition already had the condition in question and it was just diagnosed after. However, on that same note, I do think that it is possible to experience depressive or anxious mood swings and symptoms from watching subliminals, as well as getting headaches and having physical symptoms. Hell, I got a headache and a stuffy nose after listening to the sickness subliminal from the beginning. Negative affirmations are a strong thing, and it can greatly worsen one's mood, similarly to how subs with positive affirmations can improve it. I also think that subs designed to worsen a physical or mental ailment can have pretty damaging effects in the long run as well. Next up, do I think that subliminals can manifest the yandere boy of your dreams? No, I don't. Frankly, I sincerely do not believe that you can manifest your OC fictional character to life like some of the subs here are saying you can. However, it is very possible to manifest negative energy and attract the wrong kind of attention to oneself. Though one may not be able to manifest yandere kidnapper Bakugo Katsuki to life, the negative energy manifested when listening to these subliminals and when wishing for these sorts of things to happen can be incredibly dangerous. So, in my opinion, it is possible to manifest negative emotions, damage one's mental and physical health, and even manifest negative energy that can attract, frankly, really tragic and disgusting events and people to oneself. So, yes, these subs are actually dangerous, in my opinion. However, even if you want to look at them from a more scientific and less spiritual standpoint, UG subs are still a problem in that sense as well. Even if these subs do not work and cannot physically mentally harm people, the kid audience that is consuming this sort of content is being affected in other ways. As discussed, many of the people watching UG subs are kids. It's really clear from how the videos are marketed, as well as the comments that are left beneath them. Kids and teens are drawn in by the anime girls in the thumbnails, the pastel and goth aesthetics, and recognizable characters. Kids are seeing these videos and coming away thinking that mental illness and neurodivergence is ooh ooh cute and kawaii, so quirky, what a baby, and are getting the perception that SA, kidnapping, stalking, and domestic violence is okay or even desirable. Similar to how Gotcha Life was lambasted by creators all over the platform a couple years back, UG subs are promoting similarly harmful ideas and content to children that do not have the wherewithal to know better. Now, before I close out this video, I wanted to address three major counter-arguments that I've seen regarding the morality of UG subs, and I wanted to discuss why I think that they're not valid. First of all, there is the belief that fiction does not affect reality. UG subs are just fictional fantasies. Now, in many ways, I would normally agree with this statement, at least in the context of NSFW material. 
I am of the belief that artists, writers, and video makers should be able to create whatever kind of content they want, as long as that content is not against the law to create or own. Even if the content itself is morally wrong or corrupt or depicts negative things, there is nothing wrong with creating it as long as the content itself is not illegal. At least in my personal opinion. However, UG subs do not fall under this category. Not only are these subs being advertised to and seen by children, but the subs themselves are supposed to be materials to achieve certain results. I agree that fiction should not be held to the same standard as reality, yes, but the subs that I see are literally supposed to be used to achieve negative results in reality. It's not just fictional, not safe for work. Yuji subs are tools intended to be used to hurt yourself with. They are literally supposed to make those fictional no-nos a reality. Secondly, there is the don't like, don't watch, these subs do not affect you if you don't watch them, so just ignore them, argument. Again, these subs are literally tools intended to be used for self-harm purposes. Whether or not they work, they are intended to hurt the viewer. By saying that people should just ignore these subs, you're suggesting that people should ignore what is essentially kids and teens hurting themselves, whether by experiencing the intended results of the sub or coming away with the belief that these sorts of things are moral and okay. Finally, there is the this is my coping mechanism, I went through a traumatic experience, and listening to subs promoting that experience is my way of coping. Now, I don't want to be cruel to this group of people because I can sympathize. I hate that some of you have had to go through such horrible traumas and experiences like that that will affect you for the rest of your lives. It's awful, and no one deserves to have anything like SA, underage and adult intimacy, kidnapping, or domestic violence happen to them. However, I just want to say that UG subs are an unhealthy coping mechanism. Watching videos that encourage you to get worse with your condition or videos that encourage you to experience another tragic event do not help you in the long run. I really hope that all of you that have gone through something that terrible can seek help and start to improve in your conditions. Genuinely. As my closing statement in this video, I want to make it clear that you viewers should not go out of your way to attack and harass any of the users featured in this video. All of their names have been censored, and I do not want them to experience that sort of stress and hate. Again, I believe a lot of people in this community are kids. Both the people uploading the content and the people watching it, they're all kids, so going to the videos in question and leaving hateful comments can be damaging to them. And as you have probably gathered, this whole video was made because I am worried about kids being damaged by these sorts of videos. Being cruel is counterintuitive. If you decide to seek out the UG sub community, what you should do is report the videos for inappropriate content, nothing more. Report and move on. Now, with all of that being said, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it took so long to make. Many of these subs were incredibly difficult to watch, and the comments and the descriptions were often hard to read. I know that a few people have made videos on this community before me, and many will after me, but I hope that I managed to provide a unique perspective here, being that I'm a witch and all. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and even subscribe if you feel so inclined. I'd love to see what you personally think about this community in the comments, but be respectful when you leave your thoughts. Thank you for watching to the end. If you made it this far, I hope you have a nice rest of your day, and don't forget, stay magical.